So here will be another short little clip. I am just sort of documenting my progress with this little game that I'm slowly modifying. And the very latest thing that I did is to create a house object, which is just a compound object. It's got one property on creation that uh, just like wraps these two wall objects up in an array. And then after creating the house object, I wrote a dot draw method which loops over that array of wall objects and draws them. So um, how you would do that, um, down here in the draw loop, I just call house.draw instead of draw object wall, draw object wall 2, draw object wall 3, whatever. You just call house.draw and then no matter how many walls your house consists of, it will loop over that entire array and do it. So just to illustrate that, let's go ahead and create another wall object. Actually, instead of having a variable, I think I'm going to compactify even further. And make my wall objects anonymous. There's no real reason for them to even have variable names. Let's go ahead and test that, and then I'll go and try to make another wall. Oh, maybe there is a reason for them to have variable names, because I remember now I called collide objects from the move boy function. And wall three. Oh no, it's not. This is the one that it's saying undefined, and it's like, did you mean wall three? No. I need to define these two things or figure out some better way of doing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my house and imbue it with uh, collide function. Dun, dun, dun. Good, it's actually below the collide objects function, so I can use that in the method. Otherwise I might have to I might have had to have rearrange the code. <clears throat> and I'm gonna pass in the boy object so the, the boy can collide with the, the various walls in the house. And I'm going to do a loop over the walls. So once again, it doesn't matter how many of them there are. And then I'm going to call collide objects. With this as one of the rectangles and the object that's getting passed in, which will be the boy, as one of the rectangles. And since I know how that move function works, is it's going to want to know if something happened, I will have a return value. this link to jump me down there and I'll rewrite this code in terms of
I don't want to pass in that whole house object. I actually want to use the wall from this iteration of the for loop. Forgot to. Maybe this is where I need to use the this in the move function in scene one. If house.collide. So this is where I'm passing in the boy object, right? No, move boy isn't really associated with the boy object, so I can't say this, but it's getting the boy object as a parameter, so I should be able to pass that off to the house.collide function. And there we go. So let's go ahead and build the house. Oh boy, not the most efficient way of doing things, but you can slowly but surely make some kind of house looking thing. As long as he can't slip through the gaps, I'm just going to be okay with that. Um, I'll draw one over on the left side. And so on and so forth. I won't bore you to tears by going and adjusting the crap out of all of these, but I guess I'll see you in the next video. Stop this and do some more adjustments here and there. <laughs>